Hi and welcome to part 11. Today we're going to make a quiz for the StudyNet project. You can begin by setting up a database model for this. So if I scroll up and then I can find the course and then models.py. Then at the bottom we can create the model for the quiz. So class quiz models.model. First I need a foreign key to the lesson this quiz should be connected to. So I insert it here, and then I connect it to the lesson, set it the related name to quizzes, and if I delete the lesson, I should also delete the quiz. Next, I need one field for the question to ask the user. This would just be a char field with a max length of 200, and then one field for the answer, for what is the correct answer. And then we can have three fields for three different options. So option one, option two, and option three. So then we can save this. And then I can just update the database by going to the command line, stop the server, and say python, manage.py, make migrations. And then python manage.py, migrate. Nice. So then I can run the server again. We can go back to the to-do list and set the first task to done. So then you can see here the next step is to register the quiz model with the admin interface and add a quiz. So if I open up course slash admin.py, then I first can import it there, quiz, and I can register here at the bottom. Just copy and paste and replace this with quiz. So then I now go to the admin interface and refresh. You'll see here that we have the quizzes. It's a very weird way to spell quizzes, so I can fix that before I continue. By saying class meta verbose name plural equals quizzes. Save. Great. So now we can add one. And this should, can be connected to, we can create one new lesson for this actually, in the programming course one. Lesson with quiz. Lesson with quiz. And then we can just save this. And then we can add a question here. What is Django? It's a web framework. Option one can be its language, option two can be the correct one, and option three can be, for example, uh, Java script package. So we save this, and now we have a quiz here. Great. So then we can go back here and set the task to done. And now we need a new serializer to get or to convert information from the database to JSON. So if I open up course slash serializers, I can begin by importing quiz here. And then at the bottom, we can create a new serializer class, and then the name quiz serializer. And then in here we just pass in serializers.model serializer. And then we can add the class meta, set model equals quiz, and then which fields we want. And here I want the ID, the lesson ID, the question, the answer, and the three options to choose from. So now we can save this and set this task to done. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. And then I want to create a new view for getting the information from the database and presenting it to the API. So if I open up course slash views.py, then I can begin by importing the serializer at the end here. Quiz serializer. Then I can just add this at the top. I want to specify that this is a GET request, so we can get the information from the backend. And then the name of the view, which is GET quiz, where we pass in the request, the slug for the course, and the slug for the lesson. And the lesson is connected 
to the quiz. So now we can get the lesson from the backend or the database and then we can get the quiz by saying lesson.quizzes and we get the first one. There should only be one but we have to do this to get the object. And then we want to use the serializer we just imported or created and imported and pass in the quiz we got from the database. Now we have this in serialized version. Now we can return this by just copying this, paste it and save. And then the last thing we need to do here is to go to the urls.py file. Then we can add it at the bottom here. So you can see here we use the same structure as the get comments, except we use get quiz and then we pass in the view we just created. So we can save this, go back to the to-do list and set this task to done. So then when we open up a quiz in the front end, we want to load the questions. So one mistake I think I did, if I go and open up the lesson with quiz, is that this was supposed to be set to quiz like that. So then the front end will know that this is a quiz and not a typical article. So then when we open up a quiz, we want to load the questions from the back end. First, I just want to go back to the serializer and find a lesson list serializer. Because when we list out that, we want to know if it is an article or a quiz. So here we need to specify lesson type as well. And then we can proceed and work with the front end. So we'll now open up course.view and go up to data here. Then I want to create one object for the quiz and one string for the selected answer and then if you scroll down and find the set active lesson here i want to check if it is a quiz or a typical article so if lesson type is quiz then we do this and if not we get the comments because you don't want to get comments for the quiz like that and if it is a type of quiz we want to call a new function called get quiz so we can create that get quiz. Then in here the first thing we do is to call axios and then the path to the get quiz function we created. Then we get the response back from the server. We can copy this functionality and we can begin by console logging to just see that we get what we need. So if I go here now open up the inspector Go to programming course one, which is the one I added the quiz to. If I now click lesson with quiz, I get the questions and answers here. Nice. So then I want to set this dot quiz equals response dot data. So then we have this information in the object, which we created up here, so we can use it in the template. So then I need to show this. So if I scroll up find where we have the comment section that is down here. So below this HR I add this template VF where we check if the active lesson is a quiz. I can just close this before I forget it. And in here I can show the title for the quiz or the question. So if I now refresh, click lesson and you see here what is Django. And then below here I want to show the alternatives. So I have this code, a div class control, it comes from Bulma, and then a label class radio, input type radio with the value of quiz option one, which we got from the database. And then I set the V model to selected answer, which we specified here. And then we show the option at the end. So if I save now. See here that we can select it's a language. Great. Then I want to show the two other options as well. So just copy and paste. Option two, option three, option two, and option three. So now I can select between these three. Great. And then the last step here is to create a submit button. So I can paste the code here. This is a simple control with the space up to the controls and then a blue button with the text with submit. So it will look like this. 
Great. So then I can go to the to-do list because now we have loaded the questions. And then we need to make it possible to answer the quiz. So I can go back to course.view and to submit the answer, I just create a new function or at click event listener on this button, which will call a function called submit quiz. So I just copy the name of that, scroll down to methods, I can edit at the top here. First, I set the variable called this quiz result equals null. I don't have it yet, so I can specify it up in the data array. Null, like that, and then I do this so I reset it every time I try to submit it. First, I want to check if you have a selected answer, in case you try to answer without selecting one. And if you haven't, we just show a simple alert, select answer first. But if you have selected one, we need to check if it is the correct one. And to check if it is the correct one, you can just say if this selected answer equals this.quiz.answer, then we know it is the correct one. And then we can just copy this variable and say, correct but if it's not correct we want to say this to incorrect incorrect like that and then we need to show a message to the user if the answer is correct or not so if i scroll up again to the quiz then below the button i paste a new simple template tag and check that if the quiz result variable is correct then we show a notification and if it's not correct then we say incorrect and we can change this to is error or is danger and we change the text here to wrong please try again so now we can try the quiz just refresh select the lesson it's a language wrong please try again it's a web framework correct nice so that's the simple quiz for this project you can add as many of these as you like so then i can go back to the to-do list set this to done and then i just want to disable the comments because we don't need this for the quizzes to do that you can just go to course.view and then here we will check if it's a quiz just copy this directive and paste it actually we can create a new template tag around here template and check if this is an article and then we can wrap everything here including the form and save now it's gone from there, but if I go to one of the lessons, it still shows here. Nice. And that was it for this part. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and answer as soon as I can.